Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics and Neonatology. This video is about Neurodegenerative Disorder, GM2 gangliosidosis. These include Tay-Sachs disease, Sandoff disease, juvenile and chronic adult forms. Now GM2 gangliosidosis are autosomal recessive. Tay-Sachs disease is due to deficiency of lysosomal enzyme hexosaminidase A and the gene is located on chromosome 15. Sandoff disease is due to deficiency of enzyme hexosaminidase A and B. While in juvenile, there is partial deficiency of the hexosaminidase A enzyme. Now, Tay-Sachs and Sandoff disease onset is at 3 to 6 months of age, while others at 2 years or later. Now, the early findings. These are usually variable. There may be shrill cry, vision loss, infantile spasm, and developmental arrest. In juvenile and chronic adult forms, there may be motor and mental difficulties. Now vision and hearing, there is cherry red macula and in later cases there may be blindness. Hyperacusis which is a marked startle reaction to noise and it is present soon after birth. There may be deafness and in juvenile form strabismus and late blindness may occur. Now somatic findings, macrocephaly is evident by one year of age in Tay-Sachs disease and Sandoff disease. In addition, Sandoff disease patients have doll-like faces and hepatosplenomegaly. They may have sometimes skeletal abnormalities which is known as dysostosis multiplex. Now the motor findings, there is early hypotonia but late decerebrate rigidity. In juvenile and chronic forms, there may be dysarthria, ataxia and spasticity. Now, infantile spasms are common in Tay-Sachs and Sandoff disease, while generalized seizures can occur in all forms. Now, the laboratory studies on blood smear, there are vaculated lymphocytes and basophilic hypergranulation. Specific enzyme deficiency can be found in leukocytes and cultured skin fibroblasts. On imaging study, there are abnormal thelmi and white matter. Now, the clinical course of GM2 gangliosidosis is moderately rapid. In Tay-Sachs disease and Sandoff disease, death usually occur by 2 to 5 years, while in juvenile form, death occur by 5 to 15 years of age. Okay friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative health related videos.